Part 3. Specialised Net Care, a multidisciplinary and holistic approach. To help raise awareness about neuroendocrine tumours, or NET, an international panel of multidisciplinary experts involved in the care of NET recently convened to provide their perspective and discuss key unmet needs surrounding this rare type of cancer. It's essential that patients with neuroendocrine tumours are seen by a variety of healthcare professionals. The disease is complex and so they need to have those type of specialists seeing them. So how can professionals such as these collaborate to give the best care to patients? A real multidisciplinary team meeting consists of the Magnificent Seven, which is a surgeon, the oncologist, the gastroenterologist, the endocrinologist, the pathologist, the nuclear medicine physicians, and of course, the specialist nurse. These are the Magnificent, the magnificent Seven. Is a multidisciplinary team A, very common, and B, is that the best care for patients? I will start with B, and I will say that it's crucial. It is crucial because uh, nobody, even if he's an expert or she's an expert, knows everything. And the best care is based, of course, on the evidence published and your awareness, but also on your experience. So it's very important to share your views with your colleagues who have seen many patients. So you talk about this um, multidisciplinary team meeting. Yes. Tell me what happens in that. How does it work? It is important for the members of the meeting, A, to be aware of the patient history, the patient symptoms, and also from expert members of the team, such as histopathologists, to have proper time and proper material to review. It's very important to have these nuclear medicine uh, imaging studies which can be complementary and sometimes crucial for assessing the tumor load of the patient. So all this information are presented to the clinicians who then make decisions together. And just very quickly, yes or no, do you include the nurse in that meeting? The nurse should be always there because, as we discussed before, it is important through the nurse to have the patient views that the clinician did not have the time to pick it up. Okay, now everybody in this room is a specialist and I'm presuming it's part of a multidisciplinary team. But that's not the norm, is it, Dr. Glasberg? Usually it's not the norm, but in referral centres it is the norm. I mean, also in uh, our unit we have meetings like this between every week or every other week. And the pathologist is usually present to answer different questions that we may have and also the surgeons and the oncologists and us uh, were endocrinologists. So um, it is extremely important. I mean, I, I, I do not think that uh, a decision about a treatment for a net patient should be taken um, outside the multidisciplinary team. I think an important point is that, and I think, is that there's no sort of one multidisciplinary team. The, the key is to put the patient in the center and have the team revolve around the patient and have the team mold to the patient's needs. What happens in your center, Dr. Scarpa? Well, we meet every week to discuss the case, difficult cases, uh, not only on our endocrine, but uh, usually there is a specific team now meeting. And uh, what is uh, interesting is that uh, there is a gastroenterologist, uh, the oncologist, the cardiologist, sergeant, and and so on. There is a, sorry, another aspect. We are speaking about multidisciplinary team as a specialist. Surgeon, gastroenterologist, endocrinologist, pathologist, and so forth. But there is a, another aspect. It is not just the, the specialization mm -hmm. of the person who are in the team. They, it belongs also to the competence. For example, imagine at the beginning that we have a patient with a mid gut tumor you may need a digestive surgeon. Then this patient may develop a liver mass, and probably the best surgeon is a liver surgeon, which is not probably the same as before. And imagine that thereafter there are some uh, chest, uh, or sorry, metastatic disease in the chest, and then you need a thoracic surgeon. 
So to be specialist does not be to have enough competence to treat the disease by itself. Yeah, absolutely. I think that these are all different tumors. These are all different patients. Patients are all individuals. And we want to develop, especially for NETS, individualized treatment plans. And I think the most optimal way to do that is through a multidisciplinary team where everybody contributes and we develop the right plan for the right patient at the right time. What happens if there isn't a multidisciplinary team? Do you think there should be in every centre? I think obviously it's not practical for there to be multidisciplinary teams for a tumour that's uncommon everywhere, but I doesn't think that there's a reason to panic or there's a reason uh, to worry. I think uh, as multidisciplinary centres, it's our job to network with uh, oncologists or, multi or healthcare providers in different parts of the country. The thing is, well, in our centre, nurses are only involved after the diagnosis has been said, so that's a bit of, I feel a little bit sad about this. Um, but I want to make, it, it's not the multi, 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 like the seven or eight or nine, and it doesn't matter how many people, as long as they work together. As a, so maybe we should change the word from multidisciplinary into interdisciplinary. And in our center, we, have, we do have this multidisciplinary team, but uh, other physicians can enter the room as well. Okay, can I, can I ask one final question? What happens if there isn't a multidisciplinary multidisciplinary team or a specialist centre available. What happens for the patient then, John? Well, what we would um, like to see is that at some, they do get referred to a team, not, uh, which will then create a plan that can be utilised by their own treating physician, wh wherever they may be. I think it's key. But in addition, which we've touched upon uh, previously, talking about multidisciplinary teams, is their quality of life and their feeling of being competently handled, their trust. And you know, that's what we all want. We want to be a part of a, sort of a group that looks after us and nurtures it. I think the multidisciplinary team nurtures the net patient and, um, and understands the journey better than a standalone physician. Okay, I'm going to say thank you very much indeed for a very, very interesting discussion there. The goal of a multidisciplinary approach is to ensure there's collaboration and alignment on disease management and on the psychosocial assessment. This really helps the overall patient care and, of course, it will improve outcomes. In the absence of a net specialist or of a multidisciplinary team, the best thing a physician can do is to refer a patient to a specialised net centre. That way they can see a team who can help provide more interdisciplinary and holistic care to the patient. To learn more about NET, please visit thenetalliance.com or in the US, please visit carcinoid.com.